now um, as i said this repository contains some other projects i've been doing so the focus will be on just the agora rtm the agora rtm so let's go to the first thing the views over here so this is generally how um i mean this i, I use flux for the back end the basic uh, th function of the back end is basically to help us generate in relation to agora is to help us generate the token that we'll be using to join the call right so the whether it's the rtm or the rtc token over here now this this other stuff are boilerplate code so we just import the agora key over here over here what we do is just to return the users in the template that you'll be using there's an uh, endpoint for just fetching the users and this is for generating the token now um, i just combined the normal um rtc token and the rtm token together so that in one call i get both of them right so yeah you return the to the rtm token as rtc token as token and the rtm token as R token and rtm token with the app id and i intentionally set the expiration time to 3600 seconds that is one hour so depending on how you, the application is you can tweak um what do you call it the endpoint to supply a, a particular time or you can pass um, you can as part of the data you can add the expiration time which you would use to see to your application's use case so this is basically the endpoint of the back end that i have now let's just move straight to the um, front end from here um So we got Agora RTM then index.html. Then let's place it side by side with my custom JS where the main logic is located. Right. So first of all, you realize that we've we have added our styles, you have added the Agora RTC um, a, a latest SDK, right? We use the CDN and also for this particular the Agora RTM SDK, we actually downloaded and zipped it and added to it. Now what's happening over here is that we supply the when the template renders we supply the users. So we render over here with we show particular button. So the name of the particular the user and the button. And over here we indicate whether the person is online or offline now when we are calling a particular user we show this um, <coughs> this ui to indicate that we are calling a user and also when there's an incoming call you get this so this one will be if the recipient will, will get this ui the caller will also get this ui and also when the call is successful placed we show the video button today this is just a one-on-one -on -one call so we have a local video this will be the one who is calling and the remote video will be the one who is receiving the call and these are buttons to either mute or unmute and also to end the call and these are we just add axios and this where our custom js is and if we are using Vue.js and we just pass we'll make some variables available to the application to be used now let's just move on to the the, the main logic for the application so when we mount the application we fetch the user over here so we just fetch all the users and assign all the users in the application assign them over here and we also initiate the what agora rtm instance so the rtm instance will be um is what is going to listen to um the presence of uh, the online state of the users and stuff like that now so this is the general let's go through the general call flow um, so if you are placing a call this is what happens i indicate that we are calling a user right so we is calling user so let's see so it's calling user shows and here we indicate the button over here and over here first of all we have to find the online status of the user that you are calling so there's an the agora rtm client that you've already initiated i'll take you through that already so we indicate that a hey, we query to see whether this user is online if we realize that um 
the user is now online with a response that you get over if you realize that the, the user is um, the person you are calling is not online we just tell you that the person couldn't be reached and we just um, clear off the UI but <coughs> but, <coughs> but if this user but if you this if this user is going to be, can be called so we proceed to what we create a channel name we just use the name of the person you are calling and our name to just create a channel name for both of us then over here we send a call invitation so on the call invitation instance that is the rtm client on the rtm we create a local invitation so on this instance we listen whether um if the person accepts the call we just proceed to generate what um a token and we are going to use this token or to join um, what do you call it uh, the the room where the rtc takes place where the uh, video chat takes place right so this initial is initialize agora initializes the rtc instance then after which we can just join the room and we but if the person cancels the call we just indicate it in the ui if they refuse the call we indicate it in the ui if the invitation is received we get a prompt um, a lesson over here if there's a failure in making the call we get it over here but this is what actually so these are listeners that are tied to what the local invitation instance but this is the part of the code which actually um places the call so when you have your local invitation when you send it sends it to the particular user now let's look at how the the recipient or listens to the various call so also we have um this is the rtm instance that we we instantiate uh, we, we initialize when the this is the first thing we initialize when the person logs in so we create an rtm client instance over here we set a channel name for this one is specifically for the rtm instance then we generate a token so we use the um, rtm token over here then we log in so after logging you indicate that the person has logged in so these are various listeners that you can you have on the rtm this one is for recent listening to um messages that have been sent this is for listening to the connection change and this is the one of interest <coughs> this one is for listening to an invitation realize that the local invitation when the local invitation is sent we need a way to listen to it. so we listen to the remote invitation from here so if the remote invitation comes through we just indicate that there's an incoming call and we show an incoming call notification now on the data that we received we have the um, remote invitation we listen for and whether the remote invitation is going to be cancelled whether remote invitation is accepted remote invitation is refused or there's a failure right so the the one that is currently of folk interest to us is yeah, this one um the remote invitation cancelled if the remote invitation is cancelled what do you what we do is just basically to what clear the call now this is where and uh, this side after is where we listen to the online status of the all the users so um we subscribe we subscribe to the online status of all the other users and when their status change we update this accordingly and that's what we display on the ui so then after that we create a, a channel with a channel name that we have then you join the channel so the earlier thing we showed were just the um, listeners and on the channel we have some listeners you listen to members who have joined and stuff like that so when the call is placed over here <coughs> Oh, over here um, the user is there the, is just we listen to the invitation to when when it's cancelled we know what to do any anything that happens to the local invitation that was sent we know what to do but when we get the um, notification this way we accept the call so um, let's go to where we accept the call so when the this is how we accept the call we, we want to we use the channel ID that came with the invitation right towards create um, <coughs> to generate our token then we initialize the agora rtm instance then we join we join the channel we join the room that was sent to us using what the um, the token that we generated and also the channel ID that was sent and this this part of the code remote invitation that accept is what makes us accept the call so when you accept the call the local invitation um, accepted 
um, what do you call it? Let's nice triggered. And on the caller side, we proceed accordingly. So this basically works. So if you want to cancel a call or decline a call, you just refuse over here. There's a code for hit the endpoints for generating the token. So we hit it with <coughs> Agora. And this is, we <coughs> initialize our RTC client over here, which will be used for the video. If you want to join a room, we have this over here. And we have several listeners. So when the, after establishing the connection between the two users with the RTM client, now we have to, we add our video. So we have to publish our video tracks. So this one is what uh, asks for um, generates um, what do you call the media stream from your camera and the microphone. And we have it over here. So after publishing it, we have a listeners over here. So if you if, after listening if if the user publishes the video over here we just indicate that okay if it's video we add it to the we add it to the remote um track um we have the div the remote video tape that i showed <coughs> and we play if it's audio we add it to the audio track and play accordingly and also for this side um after generating the mic getting the media stream from the microphone and the camera we just add it to the local video so this for the local guy the one who is placing the call yeah if you want to end the call these are the various stuff that we use you just close the um, video track you close the audio track you remove all listeners so you close the rtc client you just leave just for toggling the audio state audio the camera and the uh, microphone state so if you are muted we set you to muted if you're not muted we unmute stuff like that same for the video so this is generally how um the application works using the RTM, the RTC clients. Yeah.